Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, preparation of brisket before we do uh, brining. Okay. So what I have here is a uh, whole brisket. So this one is a whole packer. So we need to remove it from the packaging. Okay guys, so this one we received uh, chilled. So it's just frozen, the time of uh, brisket. Just carefully remove uh, the brisket here. And uh, always remember guys, safety first. Safety first. And always uh, so safety first means I have uh, the iron uh, gloves here underneath the plastic gloves. Okay. So for this type of brisket, we need to uh, check the fat cap or the fat content on this brisket. As you can uh, see, as we know, this is the uh, flat part of the brisket and the point part of the brisket. I'm just uh, inspecting here the amount of fat. So we want some fats on the brisket, but we don't want too much of it. Yeah, in order to uh, uh, give our brisket also uh, basting uh, during a smoking process. So. Here, I'm just gonna carefully trim off the brisket with your boning knife. Right, so this one has a lot of fat content. Just carefully removing. Just carefully removing, we can make an insertion just to check how much uh, fat inside so that much has been removed okay and uh, remember we need some of the fat that keeps our uh, brisket moisture during the smoking uh, process All right so on that side it's been trimmed off check on the back side so this one here, it is hard, hard. Even if I trim off this much, still have fat. I'm just making a small insertion here. You guys can see that's a lot of fat. Okay. carefully removing that fat content. Okay, so we have uh, removed the fat already and check the sides. This one is check here. Make sure your knife also is uh, sharp. Just a little bit thick. All right. So this pretty much is a uh, trim of fat. So imagine the, uh, the fat that we remove from this uh, one brisket. Okay. Again, we need uh, fats to render during smoking time that uh, is basting our uh, brisket. Okay. The next uh, step now here is to uh, 
uh, get our brine solution and soak this one uh, at least eight hours. At least eight hours is uh, uh, good enough for the flavors of our brine to sink in on our brisket. Right?